So normally you cut the handle off, but I'm going for a luxury full handle length, but in order to compensate for the weight, I've got to make holes in it. <laughs> While much of the gear and clothing we use in Antarctica is readily available in outdoor stores or online, Tark and I have been busy customising a lot of it, usually to make it lighter or to suit our needs on the ice. We've also been making sure we're familiar with every item we're taking in case we need to repair any of it ourselves. During these last few days before flying to Antarctica, we've been trimming excess weight from everything from our boots to our tent, removing all the non-essential fabric, cutting off labels and the metal tabs from zips, and sometimes replacing things with lighter weight alternatives. Our skis are also being modified for the Antarctic snow and ice by permanently attaching skins to their surface. Skins are strips of fabric that add traction when we're skiing, and as we'll never be skiing downhill, we can secure ours without worrying about taking them off again. We're taking two pairs of skis each, one with full skins for maximum traction, particularly with heavy loads for the first few weeks, and a second pair with shorter, thinner skins when we travel faster. This is also the point at which we begin the mammoth task of individually packing and preparing our food for 110 days. For every day in Antarctica, we'll need a hot breakfast, dinner, food for six breaks during the day skiing, and three and a half litres of drinks. And each day's food has to be measured precisely, sealed, and then vacuum packed to save on space. At the start of the expedition, we'll be bringing all the food we'll need for nearly four months with the snow sleds. And the weight of the food alone between us at the start will be more than 280 kilos, or more than 600 pounds. Packing a day's food is laborious and time consuming, but it has to be accurate. And it's important to work out a good system to get it all done. Are you ready for this, Tam? Speed record. Four days food speed packing. Go! Two hundred and ninety-six thousand calories. 